Okay, so you are speaking about a theme and a school or something, institute. So where did uh, where do you study? I mean, who is the people? Where they discover well, this? I mean, how they create it? I mean, all this like it's just like oh my god, yes, you just speak about something can like blow my mind from here. Yes, but it's like physics, and it's like I have to believe. I, it's mostly like fate to believe in something that I don't see, don't observe. Maybe I can feel it with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it. It blows our mind because we come from a place where all of that did not exist. Okay, so for example, you have a cancer, you, you need to have an operation. That's it. That's the final point, you know? And um, now you, you have lots of people that are healing from cancers, you know, doing a special kind of Qigong, and it's real. And they also tell you, you don't have to believe anything. You just have to find out. So it's not about faith. It works whether you believe, believe it or not. You just have to observe what happens. And it blows your mind because we're not, because it's in, really, it really is incredible and it comes from a different a perception of, of reality and we are we are uh, conditioned to to believe that only science only let's just say um, European scientific modern method is the only way to arrive at truth and it's just one way of arriving at truth it's not the only way of arriving at truth and you can observe things at many different levels and um, Connecting with the heart will show you, if you know how to use it, it will show you what is happening. You can even find missing objects. It's not that, that um, certain people have uh, powers or something and, and others don't. I mean, that's probably true, but anyone, can, anyone has this intelligence. We can all do that from the scientific pointing, all this deep intuition from the intelligence of the heart. So what we are doing is just discovering a part of ourselves that we hadn't realized that, that, that existed. That's all. That's all that's happening. And, and, and why now? Well, I don't know. It's because we've reached a level of consciousness, consciousness where we can do this. Well, let's just say that they, they, have, they live in their own realm and they uh, have their own nature and they are not um, as distorted as we have become human beings. So they have their own process, their own level of evolution. Like they, they have all of these levels also, obviously. But they just live. You know, the tree, it's, it just grows in the organic way and we should be able to do, it, to do that also, but but no, <laughs> that's why we need healing. We all do. They how many years lives one of the trees, and they say they have to live like around five thousand years. And I was like, what? Wow! Wow! Oh, five thousand years! I can't believe. <laughs> so one one question is: if we begin to heal ourselves, like you say, if we actually don't heal, actually if we don't get ill or sick because we are in coherence with our heart and with our essence and the light then we actually become immortal no well let's just say this is like put it a different way the only thing that really dies is the physical body so there's no such thing as death from the other from a different point of view it's just a point of view, and it's another story that has been hacked. But if, if, if we're speaking about physical, biological um, permanence, well, I don't have the answer to that, obviously. But what I do know is that uh, the linear explanation is not valid anymore. Okay, so for example, there's this Hayflick limit 
that is 120 years, which is where the telometers in the in the DNA will completely um, finish finish off, and therefore the the DNA won't work anymore after 120 years, human life, and therefore uh, we cannot live more than 120 years. That that's the that's that's the linear way of thinking about life. But there's a non-linear way of thinking about it also, which is first thing, time is not linear. So what are you talking about 120 years? And the second thing is that there's already, an, we have found an enzyme, and science, scientists have found an enzyme called telomerase that can regenerate this, this, these telometers. And it all has to do with heart brain coherence and high frequency states. When this is done, you can regenerate your telometers and expand the safe limit and also regenerate every single body and cell in your entire system. So I don't know what the limit is. I, I don't know what, what a human being is capable of, but I know it's a lot more than we're told. Yeah, well, I, I read a lot. Uh, 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 now I am reading this, uh, the master's flight, like San German. And in his books, he say that actually the human body can live like more than we think, like thousands or more, and even they can keep the life like and be young, like like younger, you know, like <laughs> maybe, maybe you know, like elves in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, imagine this. It's just like imagine that you could. You could never imagine that what would happen to yourself if you could really live in total coherence within yourself and out of yourself and never lose an inch of energy. Like, yeah, no, I will, I will be nothing. like a floating like an elf, you know. I will be like a <laughs> similar, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but you know, we're carrying so much karma and things and, and relationships and belief systems and things. And all this drains our energy. If we could just like be and um, and relate and just and, and just uh, be and love and and and, uh, and 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 be in our true nature. Who knows what's possible? We we we, we could become like a crystal, you know. It doesn't. I don't know what's possible. Yeah.